Hi guys, so this video is all about parenting triggers. So if you struggle with lack of sleep, your little one constantly demanding your attention or even throwing things, then this video is definitely for you. So yeah, let's kick off. So I asked my Instagram followers what they find tough as parents, what they struggle with and what really triggers them. And they came back with about 70 to 80 responses. I've grouped those up into themes and I'll share 19 of those with you shortly. So do let me know in the comments below if you experience similar triggers or maybe you've got some different ones. So it was really interesting to see such a wide range of triggers. You know, as parents, we're all struggling with different things. We all find different parts of parenting tough. Just communicating these and sharing that, you know, you're not alone as a parent. I've received a number of DMs from parents really struggling with their child not eating, their child not going to the toilet, their child not going to bed. And in that moment, you know, you feel like you're the only one. So I'm going to vocalize some of these just to try and normalize um, how we feel as parents and also some of our toddler's behavior that is often irrational and that we struggle to rationalize. So the two overwhelming favorites were lack of sleep and mess. Now, I think every parent struggles with a lack of sleep at one point or another. Our little one is two and a half and I think he slept right through the night maybe two or three times. Um, every other time he wakes up at least once, twice or three times. I know allowing our child to get muddy and messy can be a tough one to deal with. It's something I share on my Instagram stories quite a lot of my wife and I out with our little one in his mud kitchen or rolling around in muddy puddles. And I've received a number of DMs from parents saying, I wish this wasn't a big trigger for me. I can't stand it when my little one gets messy, but it looks so much fun. But just taking precautions. So you've got puddle suits, you've got ski suits, take a change of clothes. Just know that every time you leave the house and go for a walk, chances are your little one will get muddy, messy, wet. And just allowing them the freedom to explore is great for their creativity, is great for their sensory development, cognitive skills, strengthening their immune system. There's so many reasons why just allowing our little ones to get muddy and messy is great, but fully appreciate it's not for everyone. So if we can work on it as parents, it really does open a lot of doors when we're out and about. Other triggers parents mentioned were lack of freedom, lack of alone time, and the constant need for being touched, having your attention demanded, being needed. And all of this is super important because these can have a real impact on your mental well-being. Because it's not easy trying to parent when you're running on empty. And certainly you'll be triggered far easier when your cup is almost empty. So taking that time to be selfish, to recharge, refuel, you know, will certainly improve your time with your little one and you'll get triggered far less easily. So these next two are really important and that's because traditionally we've associated these with misbehavior or a child being naughty and that is throwing and hitting. Obviously not great as parents if your child is throwing and hitting, but we need to try and appreciate what's age appropriate. And the fact is, a child needs to do these things to learn and develop skills. I'll share some information in the description below, but I'd highly recommend researching developmental schemas. So if we take throwing, for example, this is associated to the trajectory schema. And what this is, is your child exploring the idea of something moving by themselves. So let's say your child is throwing their food from the high chair. It might be super frustrating as a parent, but you need to appreciate it's perfectly normal. And the fact is they're gonna be doing this over and over again, certainly before they master that skill that if they drop something, it falls from a height. So by appreciating it's perfectly normal, it does help us to try and remain calm in that tough moment. And coupled with that is why you've got to remember impulse control doesn't come till much later on. So if a child wants to do something, chances are they're gonna do it. But it's on us as parents to try and be calm, be present and to stop situations escalating and essentially ensure our child's safety as they develop and explore their new skills and the world around. So I've grouped the next lot together and that is crying, screaming, nagging and meltdowns. Now, if this is a trigger for you, it could be really tough, primarily because you've already got your child who is in a heightened level of stress, you yourself become triggered and situations can just escalate very quickly and become out of control. So the biggest tip for meltdowns I can give, certainly from a positive and respectful parenting point of view, is to try and appreciate 
what's age appropriate. So certainly with our toddlers, they're constantly processing huge emotions throughout the day. They can quickly become frustrated, angry. They may be tired, overwhelmed, overstimulated, hungry. All of these can quickly take a calm situation and turn it on its head into a stressful meltdown. So certainly in these moments, we need to appreciate our child isn't being naughty, they aren't misbehaving, they don't need to be punished. Their brain is just trying to process an emotion that it isn't yet able to deal with. So as parents, we need to be calm, present and responsive to help them learn to regulate their own emotions because they aren't yet able to do that themselves. And also it encourages them to show their emotions as well. So by punishing them, disciplining them, what we're telling them there is really to suppress their emotions, but we need to let them know that it's okay to show their emotions and just to be present and calm whilst they go through the stages of a meltdown. Now, I highly recommend following Cindy from Curious Neuron. I'll put a link in the description below. Certainly on Instagram, she shares some fantastic content about emotional regulation and how best we can help our toddlers through their times of need. And finally, we've got meal times, bath times and bedtime. So do let me know in the comments below if you've struggled with these as a parent. Certainly my wife and I are struggling getting our little one bathed at the moment. He just completely has gone off having a bath. But as parents, we need to appreciate we're all fighting our own little battles as parents. So you're definitely not alone. So this was by far my most popular question on Instagram. I was overwhelmed with the response. And I think it's so important as parents just to identify what their triggers are. So I'd urge all parents to vocalise them, even write them down and just identify what your triggers are. I think it's so important to know that it's okay to have triggers and it's okay if you are so triggered that you blow and you need to reframe that you know when you personally have an episode and you are triggered and maybe you shout and raise your voice and interact with your little one in a way that you regret then it's a fantastic opportunity to model repair with your little one you can say sorry and just teach them you know that you're completely real as a parent there are no perfect parents and i do think i need to continue to push this message on this channel but just be safe in the knowledge that it's okay to have triggers it's okay if you go so far past it that you have an episode with a child that you regret because all we need to do in that moment is know that it's okay and to model repair with our little one show them that it's okay to apologize it's okay to say sorry and just to enable them to learn massive thanks for watching guys if you've made it this far leave a comment below and say hi hit like hit subscribe and i'll be back next week with another parenting video cheers guys <laughs>